All right, guys, first of all, if you're just tuning in now and you haven't watched the entire Wilderness Living series from the start, season number four, stop the video because there's going to be a spoiler. I'm weighing out at the beginning of day on day one, I weighed in and now I'm going to compare my start weight to my end weight. And the goal was to maintain our weight or gain weight. And that way you win. We're only eating wild foods. We eat beaver, bear, duck, grouse, catfish, pike. Did I miss anything? Apples. 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 I had lots of sugar. I ate a box of apples. We ate the entire lot of bear fat. All the bear, all the fat that came with the bear was probably about a mile not big. It was tons and tons of calories. Uh, we ate, I think, almost a whole bear. Almost a whole bear. I think maybe there's one limb left. Something like that. And uh, we did shoot, actually shot two bears, so we do have in storage more food. So anyway, that's all we did. I'm going to jump on the scale now. I weighed in at the start was 140.4 or 140.8 one of the two so if I have, i'm higher than that i win so let's check it out all right hop on i got my shoes off i got the same clothing one i was wearing in the start let's see 142.2 142.2 that means i gained a pound eight or ish or something like that anyway the, the real value is gonna be on the bottom i gained two pounds is that right does that make any sense I have to pee a little bit and my stomach full we just ate so there's probably two pounds in change there to uh, on top of it it was on top of my water all the whole time we had salts we had everything we needed so hey man we smashed it at the park we did it we figured out the human diet this is human diet is rich in fats and if you don't have fats then it's rich in sugars so there we go we did it now zach's gonna jump on the scale and figure out how well he did just robing emptying my pockets <laughs> So got, look at look all look how do you carry that stuff around all day? The wazoo utility belt, like <laughs> Batman, there's a full survival kit inside of here, as well as 50 pieces of slingshot ammo. Are here. you expecting to be marooned? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naked and marooned. Yeah. Okay, so we got down, Zach, for 205, 205.6 is your way in. 205.6, everybody Ooh. remember that? 205.6. Right, you guys go, go check out Makery, uh, Fowler's Makery and Mischief. He's got his own channel. All right, I'm getting. He wanted to yep, come, come up to go. Canada. I need some food, or not eat food, but you know we we're pretty sure we we're gonna eat food. So 205.6. What do we got? 201.2. So about five pounds. So you've leveled, you've plateaued out because we weighed you two days ago and you were down about five pounds. So you're down about five pounds now. So, so I, I started, to, I leveled out. You leveled out, yeah. You leveled out on this diet. Is that the same? 201.2. 201.2, so that's pretty good. So so, so to explain, do you want to explain why you think you lost the f five pounds? Because uh, people I'm, will be interested in your theory well, and then I'm, they can put down their own. I mean, I've been in the ketogenic diet and stuff. And so I think I was on a downhill slide of losing weight. And, uh, and then, you know, we came out here and we did all this. And we, so we kept busy, but we kept eating. And at first it was hard to get the food into us because even on the ketogenic diet, I still have vegetables and all these other things. So I think after the system shocked, started balancing out with this diet and putting enough calories back to try to replace that five pounds. And I managed to come. Plus, plus a t ton of exercise. A ton of exercise, yeah. And you're continuing your keto slide, which is what you were trying to do beforehand. Mm -hmm. You were trying to lose weight. Yeah. So we, you stayed on the same diet and you lost a little bit more weight, but it seems like only the first five days. Now you've plateaued out, which is kind of interesting, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you have energy? Oh, I'm full of energy. Full yeah, of energy. Full of it, uh, yeah. Do you feel like you can maintain this diet forever? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this, is, what we've been doing is a diet that has, leaves you with the strength and energy to do what you need to do to get around to new locations, keep busy, and be able to harvest more food. Hence the, we didn't want to eat the same thing the whole time, so we kept moving around, kept getting more game. Yeah. And so, I, so compared to him, I lost. Right. But uh, I mean, I think in the long run, you know, if we were to not count the first transition days, we probably both of us with the what we've been eating, we could maintain our body weight, stay active, full of energy, continue to harvest food, and be healthy. What do you think would happen if you didn't eat any food, maintaining this activity level over seven days? How many how many pounds do you think you would have lost? Like we lost five doing this. How many do you think we, if you if ate I, nothing, doing the doing all the things that we did? Oh, if we hadn't eaten food? Yeah. Oh, we would, I would have been down by ten pounds or something like that. Yeah, least, we were right? so busy, 
and stuff. If we haven't actually caught stuff everywhere we went and harvested, you know, all this game, we would have been shrinking for sure. Yeah. 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 I'm in mean, to as keeping this perspective, as somebody your size, I mean, Jeremy lost uh, 10 pounds, I think, in five days. And uh, Bob Hansler, I think, lost about six or seven pounds. And he's a much smaller person. So there you go. Like, you maintain a big frame. Yeah. You know, you maintained it after. And and we'll see if you keep doing your keto, if you drop, maybe you can. We can well, the, the other thing, can... too, is we worked a lot while we were doing this. But, like, at home, I you know, I work out. And I've been running and stuff, so I'll probably start dropping down and become more of my fighting weight, which will probably be like a, like a ten pounds lighter than this even. So right, so that's but, what but keto... that's like that's with the keto diet. Yeah, keto's gonna stuff. do that to you anyway. And at home, I intermittent fast. I don't eat um, in the morning. I eat only lunch and dinner. So that's a big difference out here. I've been trying to eat every meal I can, and only one day where. We were like so overloaded on the beaver meat. Did I not? I didn't eat <laughs> yeah, there until was one day. You didn't want to eat. I didn't eat until dinner, yeah. and then when I did, I almost ate like a, I ate like a meal and a half. So yeah. that day I was literally down a meal and a half. And, and you're I, not eating any apples. You didn't no, eat any sugar today. No right? sugar. Sugar for the last seven days, none. And I was Here. full of energy. No yeah. carbs. Full of energy. Just. And I'm mean, I'm not gonna go to the doctor to prove it. And some people are like, oh, you eat all that fat, you're clotting your arteries, but. I don't think I'm gonna have a heart attack anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, that's all right? good. All right, so oh, there's a bird. This bird come visit us. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up there. That's uh, that's the whole series. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, share it. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, you can subscribe. I don't care. Subscribe to Zach. He cares, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you guys like, if you love the series, just sh share it. I'd rather people just watch. I don't really care about subscribers. Only because it's interesting to for me to figure out how primitive people used to live in their diet and i learned a ton doing this a ton about what it takes to actually make it in the modern world as a hunter as a gatherer as a fisher i mean this stuff is really interesting to me so i would love to continue doing it so if you, you can support me however you see fit see fit um you know if thirty thousand people watch this video which is probably about right because that's what happened on season three um, if you guys all shared it, 30,000 people sharing it just on their Facebook, even to people who don't even like aren't interested in it, they might be interested in it because I think it's cool and uh, I think other people think it's cool too. So, I yeah, you do. <laughs> so, Zach's all the way up from I think Maine. It's very cool. Zach's from Maine, so it's his first big trip to Canada, I guess, right? Yes, yeah. big trip. Next time we're going somewhere tropical. Oh, see, we have already got planned. We've, We've, We've been thinking. So, that we'll see Zach again. And uh, we're even talking about like marketing the Wadobo spice. So that may or may not happen. We'll see. We're working on it. If it, it did happen, it's linked below in yeah, the description. Right? Yeah. All right, guys. See ya.